Hey everyone, big news today. Uh, I still want to keep people focused on the Protect IP Act and on ACTA, which in a lot of ways is even more dangerous, and includes a provision which, uh, if you get three strikes under ACTA, you can be permanently banned from using the internet for the rest of your life. Uh, it's fascism, it's outrageous, and its scope is potentially uh, global. So we need to keep an eye on ACTA, and we need to warn our friends about it. But today's video cast is actually about something else. Uh, this morning, U.S. Senator Rand Paul was detained by TSA agents uh, at the Nashville, Tennessee airport because he refused, he reportedly refused a full-body rope down. Uh, the TSA is blatantly unconstitutional, and we need to demand that it be defunded and scrapped. Uh, I'm barely old enough to remember a time where when you wanted to fly somewhere, you just went to the airport half an hour beforehand, uh, you walked through a metal detector, and your belongings went through the x-ray scanner, and that was it. Uh, you didn't have to live in fear. You didn't have to live in constant terror that they would pull you aside and give you a choice between walking through a backscatter x-ray machine, which is harmful. Uh, the EU, the Ur European Union's Commission on Safety, they've already banned the specific form of x-ray scanner. Uh, I'm not against x-rays in general, I'm against the backscatter x-ray machines they use because the, the kind of radiation, it gets stuck in your tissues and it can cause damage. And, it, and the fact that it's outlawed in Europe tells you something. So the choice is between going through that thing or being groped by a TSA agent. And this has actually happened to me before, so I don't doubt for a second uh, that Rand Paul is experiencing this. Right now, as I, write this, as I do this video, he's still detained, and uh, his father, a presidential candidate, Ron Paul, has tweeted about this from his official account, so it's real. Uh, if even a presidential candidate's son and a U.S. Senator is not safe from the grasp of the TSA, uh, how, think do you, how safe do you think you and I are? This needs to be defunded, and President Obama has had nearly four years to do away with the TSA and to rein them in, and he hasn't. Uh, things in this country are getting out of control, and I was done with my political commentary because I felt like everything, everything that had to be said had been said. But now, with Rand Paul being detained, this is something new. We need to stand up. We need to stop being cowards. Uh, we have a lot of tools available to us. Uh, we should continue to protest. We should continue warning our friends. Uh, should we continue paying taxes when those taxes are going to fund illegal and unconstitutional operations like the TSA? Uh, I don't want Homeland Security checkpoints on the highway. I don't want to be groped every time I get on an airplane to visit my parents or to go on a business trip. This stuff needs to end, and it needs to end now. The reason why it's been allowed to happen is that we've been silent. Every time the government takes more power and does something messed up, we've just been quiet. You know, As long as we have our DirecTV and our Tim Tebow and our uh, Keeping Up With The Kardashians, that's all we care about. And that has to end. We need to stand up and realize that, yes, it's inconvenient to protest. It's inconvenient to speak out. But we need to do those things. You know, the Founding Fathers had a lot of other stuff going on. Uh, they had successful businesses, they had wives and children. Uh, they didn't want to leave all that behind, but at a certain point they realized, hey, there's something more important. You know, I have a calling to protect my country and to protect my countrymen. And that's really how I feel. I have other things going on. I don't want to talk politics nonstop. But keep in mind, there is never a perfect time. There is never an ideal time to protest. The government is never going to tell you, yeah, now's the time to speak out. Uh, it's always going to be inconvenient. There are always going to be risks. But you need to speak out, and you need to do it now. You need to be telling every single person you know that the TSA has gone too far, that the NDAA is blatantly unconstitutional, and opens the door to outright fascism and tyranny in the United States. That is not an exaggeration. Uh, Ron Paul, I hate to keep talking about Ron Paul, but he's really one of the only people doing anything. He has uh, proposed legislation in the House which would do away with indefinite detention, uh, those provisions of the NDAA. His bill is called H.R. 3785. We need to call our congressmen and urge them to support this. Finally, uh, what did we see from SOPA and the PROTECT IP Act? We see that Hollywood has basically hijacked our political process and they're pouring a lot of money, a lot of lobbying money, into getting legislation passed that might prevent some piracy, 
but mostly it takes away our freedoms, you know, our online freedom of speech, our ability to publish content online without fear of it being removed by the government with no, for no reason. These are big things. Uh, I say we boycott Hollywood. I could personally do without the next Pirates of the Caribbean or the next Transformers or whatever. I can wait for that to come out on HBO. I don't have to go to the movie theater and pay eleven seventy five for a ticket. You know, talking about 20 bucks when you get done with popcorn and candy to see some garbage movie. Uh, boycott Hollywood. Stop seeing their pictures. You need to send them a clear message that supporting and pouring money into fascist legislation that might prevent piracy but definitely damages the freedom of speech, that's not acceptable. So, in closing, here are the action points. Tell everyone you know that the TSA is unconstitutional and it needs to end. Same with Homeland Security. Many of their operations are just disgusting. We should not have security checkpoints on our highways. That is what Nazi Germany had. I'm not saying that, you know, our, our government is anywhere in the same ballpark as Nazi Germany, but this is the path to tyranny. We cannot allow this stuff to happen. Uh, NDAA, indefinite detention, needs to be repealed immediately and amended. Uh, supporting Ron Paul's bill would do that. His bill is less than 100 words long. That's how you create efficient legislation. Uh, it's not confusing, it just gets rid of the indefinite detention aspects of the NDAA. So we need to support that. And the main thing here is spread awareness and don't be afraid to speak up. Post about this on Facebook, call your friends and family. Do protests in front of your city council, in front of your senator's offices. Do everything and everything you can. This is the time to put your career on hold, to put your family life on hold. This is serious, serious stuff. Please wake up. Uh, this is not a political issue. This is not a fringe issue. This is not environmental activism or save the whales. This affects every single American directly. 307 million of us. We need to stand up against this nonsense because we're turning into a joke, and I'm not cool with it. This is where I have to live. The U.S. has a lot of great things going for it, but I don't want to live in a place where you have to live in fear. That's not acceptable.